CataractCoach.com, resin case 100, horizontal chop. A really great job for a young surgeon in training. Let's watch the video here. So starting off with good draping, by the way. I like the eye position. There's the paracentesis for the left hand. You can see it's a nuclear cataract. Looks like some posterior subcaps as well and certainly some cortical changes. And now maybe a little anesthetic going inside the eye here. You can see surgeon is optimizing the red reflex here. I'd also turn on the paraxial lighting. So you see the two reflexes on the center of the cornea. Yeah, those two lights are within each ocular. Those are the coaxial lighting within the oculars and then, or lined up with the oculars, then there should be a paraxial light too. And that way you'll get overall lighting of the field as well. A little bit of tripen blue went inside the eye here. Now it looks like the viscoelastic going inside. It's a good viscoelastic fill. I like how you check the pressure there. You don't want the pressure too high. If you have a very high IOP, the incision will be short. Now let's see the incision here. And that's pretty reasonable. I kind of like it. I wish it hit a little bit more of the limbo vessels though. It's a little too much in the clear corner for me. Remember, if you barely nick the limbo vessels, it heals much better. Now starting off here with assistatome. Oh, no, just forceps. Forceps going in there, starting the rexus. Very nicely done. Look at the pivoting within the incision. This is really well done, really well. For 100 cases, I'm blown away. You know, this new generation has the ability to just really surpass the previous generations. The amount of material you have to learn from, like Cataract Coach and other videos online, it's really amazing. So what a beautiful rex. That's just about five millimeters, I'm guessing. Let's see some hydro dissection here. A little, little, little rotation, maybe. Uh, a little more hydro dissection, okay. You know, I like to see it spin. If it does not spin, you will not win. Especially if you want to do some chop techniques. Let's see. Up oh, there's the rotation. There we... It, it, look at that Rosatelli spin there. Oh, you, you have been definitely watching a lot of great videos online. Not only Cataract Coach, but Neto Rosatelli as well. That's his technique. I love it. Now, let's see, going in with the Faco Pro, I usually pull the capsule out with the forceps as I do it, but you can just aspirate that capsule flap with the Faco probe. Take out maybe a little bit of the viscoelastic, make yourself some room there. Take out, let's see, a little bit of the anterior cortical material maybe. Yeah, maybe aspirate some of the anterior cortical material, and let's see the technique here. Looks like a horizontal ball tip chopper on the left hand, buzzing with a Faco probe. Chopper goes around the lens equator. Look at that, so nicely done. Now, we have sped the video up at 2x normal speed, but just the way this surgeon moves his or her hands is just fantastic. I'm really impressed. For 100 cases, this is just fantastic. And remember, these unresident cases are always anonymous. So it's not like someone gets some bonus points or recognition or if they, if they just, you know, tell you a wrong case number. But I believe this is case 100. But in years past, 10 years ago, this would have been case two or 300. And honestly, 25 years ago, 20 years ago, this would have been case like 500. So the new generation really has the ability to learn a lot more. Look at that, bringing that piece up. Yeah, buzz into it a little bit. Once you get a hold of it, you can aspirate it or just uh, give it another sub chop if you need to. I like how the eye stays in primary. See how the eye's in primary this whole time? That looks just great. And again, good draping, the lid margin sequestered. And this is not a very dense cataract, which is okay, but that was just a beautiful chop technique. It really came out nicely. Here's the last piece. Let's see if you get the chopper maybe in the safe position. No, I, I like to protect the bag. Oh, I don't, do, don't do anything risky here. You got a nice case. You got case 100. Don't try to get out that cortex with that probe. Hey, that tell you about retina rounds. That's our sister channel. If you're a young resident, you have to also learn retina stuff too. Not just retina surgery, but important retina material that even a general ophthalmologist will le need to know and love to know. So learn it. Now, some more viscoelastic going inside, inside there. Let's see the cortex removal. So coaxial cortex removal. All right, get that probe in the eye. Let's see the technique here. Now, when you get this cortex, I like to grab it and move it a little more circumferentially. Get a few clock hours at once. I don't like to strip off just like one clock hour time or 10, 20 degrees worth. I like to do a few clock hours. And sometimes getting the sub-incisional first, it, it makes life a little bit easier. So aspirate, aspirate, aspirate. That all looks great. And then again, cleaning this up. Wow, I'm really impressed. This is a beautiful job for Case 100. I just can't wait to see Case 1000 from you. Fantastic job here. So cleaning all that lens cortex up. What a clean caps or bag. There's so maybe a little bit more material there or, or some cells under the underserves the anterior capsule rim. So here comes our viscoelastic going inside to fill the bag. Nicely done. Let's see that rexus overlap of the optic. To me, that looks like a beautiful rexus. I'm really impressed. 
And so now let's see the lens coming up. And again, the video is two times normal speed. So that means the, the case itself was about 15 minutes. If you're doing case 100, please take your time. I don't mind if it's 20 or 30 minutes. The most more important to me is the beauty of the surgery and the control you have during surgery and how you're able to float in the incision. I mean, the, that's what matters at this stage. Do not, do not, do not pursue speed. That, that doesn't, doesn't help at all. Here comes the lens. Let's see. Probably going to be single piece. Acrylic lens, let's see, delivering it, delivering it inside the bag. Here it comes. Looking pretty good. Get that thing in the bag. Let's see, maybe rotate it around a little bit. May definitely make sure both haptics and the optic are within the capsule bag completely. And then once that's in there, let's see. No, nope, you got to rotate it. So I wouldn't push on it. I'd try to do more rotational. But yeah, you got it in. It's in nicely. Look at the overlap. So six millimeter optic, that's definitely a five millimeter axis. That's a beautiful job, really. That's a beautiful job. So I think this case was fantastic. My only bit of a kind of improvement here for you would be a couple things. One, I'd like the incision to hit a little bit more of the limbal vessels. I know it's a good incision, but again, if it's totally avascular, believe it or not, it never seals. You could go in 10 years later for an eye well exchange and just use a Sinsky hook and you could open the main incision. But if you nick the limbal vessels, just barely, It'll seal so well that it won't be able to be opened up even a year later. So that looks great. And the other thing I'd advise you is to remove the cortex. Try a little bit more circumferential. Instead of stripping radially one or half a clock hour at a time, try go circumferential for two or three clock hours and then bring that central here. A little bit of Irish prolapse in the incision. So let's be very careful with that. Get that in the eye gently. I just, yeah, you can just flatten out the eye a little bit. Get, get Release that pressure gradient that goes back inside the eye. And now, here a little bit of, it looks like, uh, what, air bulb at the end? Okay, or maybe some medicine. So sealing up the incision. I don't like the walls as much. I like, to me, it's more important to do the roof there. And to see that center part of the roof? Yeah, the exact, well, I'm not just washing out the bubbles now, but I'd hydrate up that center part too. But beautiful case. Hey, leave a comment below if you have some advice as a young doctor. And of course, check out retinorals.com. You're going to love it.